Yeah? It's, it's yes or no. Right? And what factor determined which movie with money? Some of you were doing Netflix yeah? study. Yeah? What are the, what's the variable? Whether this movie make money or not make money? You can love a movie, right? Yeah. The actors? Yeah, actor, actress. <laughs> yeah. And also story. Love story or this a violent story, yeah? Or kung fu story. Yeah? IG. Yeah? What else? What that? IP. What do you mean IP? Uh means the series like Star Wars, it's a, like Oh this kind of yeah, yeah. And uh can be, yeah? And um, can be uh, what's the film channel? You put it in Netflix or you put a theater, right? All this factor determined which movie will make money, right? And uh, so rather than giving me the number, I convert to a question. If you make money, the probability you make money over 0 0.5, I will invest $5 million. Otherwise, I will not invest, right? This can be used a lot. Actually, use every day. Yeah. Do you have um, Do you have Gmail? Yeah. There's a called spam folder, right? You boy, ex boyfriend sent you a lot of email yesterday. Automatically put in your spam. Yeah. Because you labeled this is spam. Why didn't you call me? No, no, I didn't receive anything. Yeah. <laughs> it's your spam. By Logistic regression, yeah? They put your access to uh, the email to put in spam. You never re read it, yeah? And uh, the news, news classification, right? A lot of news, yeah? My folder, I put the news, different folder, right? This is sports news, this is the financial news, this is my boss news, <laughs> my university news, this is my client news, right? This can be classified by logistic regression, yeah? Product classification. Uh, my previous class, uh, one of the team uh, did uh, the soil beam classification. Yeah, for the soil beam, right? And depending on the size, uh, the color, and uh, the weight, you can divide its premium, high price, and the the low price, right? You can classify different class for the soil beam. Then you can automate it by the machine, right? Yeah, and. The team mainly from Brazil, right? A lot of soil beans sell to China, right? They sell in different price, yeah? So of the part of soil beans, they put it in the machine. They can divide different, you know, different class, right? So this can be done by logistic regression, yeah? Many other applications for logistic regression, classification. So even people ask you, what's mean by logistic regression? Well, this one you can use it to remember, right? S curve, based on the probability, zero to one. Then to see whether it's over than half, 0 0.5. If you remember that a logistic function, that would be great. That is the formula, yeah? You get a more uh, plus point. And uh, this is a invented long, long time ago, yeah? By this uh, scientist, yeah? Maybe in Europe, right? Yeah. <coughs> Okay, so this is about training, how to train such algorithm. It's, uh, this can be a static uh, graphic descent method, how to train it, use that to train the model. Okay, so I will give you a demo. The second one we, we discussed called support web machine. The second one. Basically, the depth set you divide by, say, two group, use the hyperspin. Yeah, three lines called support web machine. The middle point called WX equal B. Equal B is also WX minus B equal zero. So this is linear, right? This is a weight. Yeah? Or also called coefficient, right? We use the beta. Yeah? This one is better, right? This is the same thing. This is an intercept, right? Yeah? And this is a, this side called plus, equal plus. 
this side you call manners. When you swing in your lines, this will have an equal distance, right? This is a plus one, this is a minus one. Try to maximize this uh, division to make your division more accuracy, right? That's the idea, okay? It's called hyperspin. So, for example, right, in order to divide this bread control, it's a new bread control, yeah? You can use the linear line, many ways to give division, yeah? Easy to make mistake. Then you use three lines, you know, so this just on this side, have loop press cancel, this side press cancel, right? Try to maximize this, this, this idea for support vector. This is support vector. This is the main uh, line. So the other is two scientists from Russia, mathematician, work for at t USA. They invented in the fifth year, 60 year. We always give the question to other uh, order, right? Yeah. So this is a, uh, they invented from the lab, and very useful. So this talk about training. That can this one SVM have all the why we call uh, mini neural network. That can solve the high dimension problem. The dimension means many variable. Many variable, right? Like chat GPT. Many, many variable to answer your question. Yeah? Yeah. That can reduce the dimension to you know simple one. Yeah. Okay? To dimension reduction. Okay? And still have good performance for this model. So the idea, right? How much should I pay you? You could name ten of them. Your experience. Uh, my MP degree, my IQ, my beauty level, or my uh, the region I come from, my high school, you know, uh, grade, or my university GPT, right? You can identify ten. Yeah. The more variable, it's more complex for the model. You need more power. So let's let's. So this algorithm can reduce reduce say three of them. Yeah. With a high influence of your salary. For example, your, your experience, your education, your IQ. Yeah? So this way they can reduce this dimension. That's why they're called mini neural network SVM. Okay? So formula is pretty easy, yeah? The distribution support the machine. Yeah? That's all you should remember. Yeah? So let's uh, walk through an uh, uh, example. Okay? So the first Cancer problem. Why you study this problem? Well, it's very significant. Yeah? As I mentioned, well, the information comes from there. Official website, Canadian Cancer Society on breast cancer. So this is data come from there. You know, one quarter of Canadian women were have breast cancer. Maybe uh, Canadian women eat a lot of meat. <laughs> I don't know. And 13% of them die from breast cancer. Number one killer. That's why we, we want to solve this uh, uh, life death problem. So the doctor, a lot of research on this area, right? And most of them, 8% of the breast cancer women is uh, over 50 years old. What do you mother you know? Yeah, when she, she diagnoses the breast cancer. Yeah. So if you're over 50, you're high risk. If your family history, anything, mother, sister, daughter, have breast cancer, you have high risk, yeah? I'll give you a story. I used to work for uh, uh, called Android uh, OS, called Savage in Boston. That's why I'm very proud of Android OS, yeah? And one of my friends, yeah? And uh, we have a uh, nice, uh, you know, Barbecue in the you know, summertime, you know, very often, right? And suddenly he got a call. He's a Chinese, and uh, his mother-in-law died from breast cancer. Breast cancer, yeah, too late. And uh, after 
um, three months. And uh, his sister-in-law, his wife's elder sister, also diagnosed with breast cancer. Yeah? And uh, also late, then eventually, <coughs> sister-in-law also died. Then his wife got very nervous, you know? And went to hospital immediately. Then also, she had a diagnosis of breast cancer, but very early in the state. Then she got, you know, chemical treatment. Yeah, then she survived, even now, right? So this kind of sisters, you know, uh, mother relationship, right? You should be very cautious. So the main problem for this two gene, BRCA1, BRCA2 causes a problem. Yeah, that can, uh, you know, pass to you. And uh, the early diagnosis is critical, critical, yeah? You get treatment to improve your survival rate. So when you're doing project, right, you need to do this kind of analysis. Why is this significant? To give some, do some research to defend, yeah? Give some knowledge, right? People learning your project, right? They're able to learn something, right? So this is a, uh, we try to, uh, try to understand this disease. And uh, you can do uh, other way to do diagnosis. You can take a flu, you can take an x-ray, yeah? And uh, then now, the machine learning AI to help, you know, to do earlier diagnosis, which have potential to have breast, uh, you know, breast cancer, or not, right? So that's, that's what we are going to try to do. So what's the what's sense of, what's the data? Yeah. What's the data, right? What's the data, yeah? So the data collected by Dr. William Warburg by University Hospital at, at the University of Wisconsin <coughs> states, yeah? Just, just south of us, yeah? And based on the flu sample, okay? This is data. And it's kind of small data, not too, too much sample. Totally 570 raw, okay? And uh, 32 column, right? And uh, so you can see this is a raw data. Always take it with raw data. Take it with the first one. ID, the woman ID, right? The name and removed, right? The, the other one they show the confidential information. Diagnosis, the end, the magnitude. It's mean very bad, yeah? It's cancer. B is belied, yeah? And uh, then there's a, uh, 10 variable, doctor believe that is the most important, you identify. One is about the tumor radius. The second one is texture. The third one parameter. This total 10 parameter. The variable is very important, okay? So that's why you, machine learning team, you, already, you have a domain expert, yeah? Then give you, a, help you to identify which is the variable is the most important, okay? So this is that set, you take a look, yeah? Uh, totally 570 row. That's why we can use the both Python and Excel today. So for this one, about the total variable, most important, yeah? You can see the radius, texture, the area, the smoothly is about tumor, right? The cavity, the canker, symmetry, and the fracture dimension. Then eventually, the, because some of the women already died, right? Yeah? And you have a label, we call it label, right? The diagnosis. And Mexican B is belied. This is a better one, right? Yeah? This is okay. No? Some tumor is okay, yeah? And some tumor is cancer. So we use Python, okay? And to solve the problem. And uh, what's Python to do, right? Now we have Python, everybody can learn Python because of chat GPT, <laughs> yeah? But you have to understand, right? After they generate the code for you, you have to read it, you have to read it. Because you need to do some, some minor change, yeah? Some error when you run it, right? So usually you install Python and the library. All these algorithms, they're written by other people, yeah? Smart guy, yeah? You just import it and uh, then you load your breast cancer data set from the university website. You download to your computer, okay? Then you're doing some statistics analysis, right? You know, 
how many percentage will have uh, M, what percentage have uh, B, what's, uh, what's age group, right? You can see that uh, you know, doing uh, you know, statistical analysis, but also doing that visualization. Python have a good uh, visualization function. Then you're doing feature engineering, right? Yeah, we identify 10 of them. We want to influence the diagnosis conclusion. Then we train in five model today. Yeah, the first one came in, which is the same code I wrote for uh, Arbs Flower, which is boring. Yeah, and uh, then we use lying base. We are going to learn lying base, and this is the main focus: logistic regression support my machine. This is design tree, right? And uh, the reason we use uh, Python, the program language, right? The code is like the same. You just use different formula function, right? Yeah, and it's more productive. With ChatGPT, much more easier. Then you do training, evaluate this file model. Then you select the best model, put in your, you know, device to do a, a prediction. Okay, so that's a key concept you must uh, learn. Okay. So it's called test, train, train, test. Basically, you have a data set, yeah? For you guys, have a minimum 1,000 data set, yeah? And uh, you should have a call label. M, B, yes, no, right? This kind of a label, right? So it's kind of knowledge. Yeah, this situation, press country, this kind of situation is be like. Right, in the label. Okay? You got the all this one. And uh, you need to divide this data set. Typically is a 70 train 30% test. Right? You divide it. Yeah? So this is a training. This is a test, right? Okay, and they used the uh, function to shovel around, right? Rather than get 70%, train the model. Then you hide, hide this model in the back, right? For testing data, okay? Then, in general, 70, 30. If your data is small, say only uh, 200 data set, right? You may use the 80 of most of the data for training and a little data for testing, yeah? You know, you split your data from 80 to 20. So the idea, right, you, after the model, the training, say, logistic regression training, logistic regression or support language training, yeah? Okay? So you have uh, this uh, 300 data set, right? Then uh, you build called confusion matrix, sometimes confused. Right? So you test each of the model performance, right? Like your quiz, yeah? Basically, you get the first, uh, the, the, the test that set, this woman, and she woman, this woman unfortunately died already from breast cancer, yeah? And uh, that was your prediction, yeah? If you predict she's positive, actually she's positive, what's it called? Called true positive. Yeah? And, uh, okay, it's good. Good job. Let's take second woman. Second woman, she's still there, survived. She, she, she's a uh, new breast cancer. Yeah? And be live. So what's your prediction? Wow, you also got it. So from her data, you also predict she's new breast cancer. What's that call? What's that call? called true lactin, right? She has no breast cancer, you predict breast, no breast cancer, right? Lactin, yeah? However, the third woman, yeah? That's the example your mom. She has a no breast cancer, but you said she has breast cancer, right? This is called full positive. 
Ya. Ya, bistek ya, bistek. Dan uh, number four woman, she uh, she had breast cancer. Then you did say she had no breast cancer. What's it called? Yeah, called full lactate. Okay, so each of them you test it, testing model, right? Then you eventually get a number. So uh, we we want to evaluate your performance, like your quiz result, yeah. So one single one is called accuracy, which equal this is good one, yeah. <coughs> two positive, two negative, then in total. 300 that's it, yeah? That's your model accuracy. Right? Yeah? And uh, in formula you can do all okay, so you can give me what you call formula. It's very like this. It's a, you want TP time TM two positive two like him, then TP time TM, then add FP and FN, right? For this one, it's 300, yeah? Total space, right? Then you see, in general, for machine learning, if you achieve the 70%, 70%, it's good, good performance rate, yeah? Even chat GPT have a lot of mistakes, yeah? Do you? Yeah? Okay, and of course, um, depending on you, the technology advancement, yeah? And, uh, more, some model can achieve better performance yeah. over others for many reasons, okay? So, that, then, based on this accuracy formula, you want to be select to say which one is better, yeah? That the other, you know, uh, major will discuss later. But the very single, simple one is your, what's your, you know, characteristics rate for your quiz, right? You get that one. It's based on the accuracy. Then you select the best model, the highest accuracy put in your uh, machine for diagnosis, right? So this is a Python code, you must understand it, yeah? So this is a import for this library, for example, um, scale learn, machine learning, right? All the formula from there. This is a metapolio, this is a visualization library, yeah? Then you always get some version. Which version of this uh, library? Because this is open source. If you have uh, some error, you always ask a community. Even search for Google, right? They have some answer to solve your problem. Why I get this error? Because the different version you are using. And the, the step two, you read your data. Yeah? So data, for example, put in your uh, hard drive. Or you can read directly from uh, from the website, yeah? Then you take a look at the data. Okay, then step three, doing some you know, statistics, right? Doing data visualization. So this is typically called describe Python program, tell you, you know, what do you mean, stabilization, minimum, maximum, right? All this. Then you can use the you know, box whistle diagram, right? To take a look, you know, you look at a lot of outline for, the, for that uh, tumor, that bad. And some of them is normal distribution. Yeah, some of them look ugly. Then all of them is doing, you know, data processing, feature engineering, right? To see some of the features more useful, some of the features less useful, fix some of the, you know, remove some of the ID, the name, confidential information. And then you need to change this MB to one zero, yeah? Because computer is stupid, it doesn't know this this thing. They want the numeric. Yeah, yeah. Even use Excel, you have to convert it manually. Yeah? But for Python have a program to do it. Yeah, it's easy. That's why. So we used uh, K mean, right? Basically, we assume we didn't know your label. Yeah? This uh, uh this data set, right? And you just use X to see how many uh Optimized cluster you should divide from this uh, album diagram. Which 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 one? What's this airport point? Which is the airport point? 
Yeah. Some people say, well, the opposite is for this one is two. The elbow, right? The elbow, what do you do? Yeah, the K equal two, it makes sense, yeah? You diagnosis who have breast cancer or have new breast cancer, two. Then you can, based on this two, you will visualize this, this death set, yeah? Right? Then you can see, right? This is uh, most likely the breast cancer. You know, spread around very ugly, yeah? Then after that one, okay, so this is a cluster infection, okay? And uh, for uh, baseline. Then talk about logistic regression, right? We, we tried the LIU base. Actually, this program could, right? LIU base and logistic regression is very similar. Just change one and it's cool. A different library, yeah? From scalar, logistic regression formula, right? Then you put in your computer, memory. Then you feed, right? Feed X train, Y train, right? You're training the model by training. Training data, yeah. So after training, you are doing prediction. What do you predict? You predict x, x side, yeah. Then you see what this is prediction. Your prediction. Then you compare actually what's happened, yeah. You build, you get this called confusion matrix, yeah. So this is two positive, two negative, uh, four positive, four negative, right? You able to calculate very high, right? Very high over 90% of the accuracy for logistic regression, okay? Similarly, you can do in support vacuum machine, right? That's why you use, you know, program much easier to, for, to do your work, right? And uh, so eventually you can see, right? You know, K-mean is kind of baseline, right? It's not a classification. Like you base achieved 83, right, percent. Logistic regression achieved 87. Support vacuum machine achieved 88. Decision tree achieved the 82. This is accuracy. So which model is better? Yeah, you've only used the accuracy. You select the support vector machine. Put it in a hospital machine to do diagnosis, right? So you select the support vector machine, but the just regression is also very similar. Yeah, only 1%, right? And, uh, okay, so that is a, you know, Python. You can use the chat GPT to write this code for you. Yeah? Try it. Yeah? You don't try, you never learn. Uh, you get lucky. Yeah? That's why I learned Python is, uh, for you is hard. Yeah? Now it's easy. Okay? So the code is there. The code in your cross bottle, right? You must try it. So let's use Excel to solve this problem. Uh, we only try the logistic regression formula. Totally same step, right? You study Excel. We use a package called Excel Miner. The package is free for you from Excel. Then you're doing summary, statistics, doing visualization using Excel, right? And uh, then we use logistic regression formula from this package, okay? You can use other packages, right? There's many other packages. Then doing prediction. So you, you install that one. Then you select a logistic regression formula here, yeah? Okay? Then you have to tell what's your y, what's your x, yeah? From the death set, the, the, the y, the, be caution, right? Because you say it's kind of tall, so it's low level. You have to change the diagnosis m to one, b to zero, right? So the y is your diagnosis, yeah? Which you change manually, yeah? And the x, we select.